we are glad to see you again on our channel, where we share insights from the Bible. The Jewish diaspora is a rich tapestry of cultures, traditions, and histories, woven together by the common thread of Jewish identity. Among this diverse group are communities of Black Jews, who, despite sharing a religious and cultural heritage, have unique experiences shaped by their specific geographical and historical contexts. This introduction explores three such communities, the Black Hebrew Israelites, Ethiopian Jews, and African American Jews, delving into their origins, beliefs, practices, and challenges. Each group, while united under the umbrella of Judaism, offers a distinct interpretation and practice of the faith, influenced by their unique historical and cultural experiences. In the heart of the bustling city of Chicago, in the year 1967, a movement was born. A man named Ben Ami Ben Israel, born Ben Carter, felt a calling deep within his soul. He believed that he and his African-American community were the descendants of a lost tribe of Israel. This belief sparked the formation of a religious community known as the Black Hebrew Israelites. Ben Israel was a charismatic leader who appointed 30 disciples and led his followers on a journey of faith and discovery. The group first moved to Liberia in 1967, before embarking on their final destination, Israel. They believed that returning to what they considered their ancestral homeland was a step towards reclaiming their heritage. Upon their arrival in Israel in 1969, the black Hebrew Israelites settled in Demona. They adopted Hebrew names to replace those they believed could be derived from slavery. They lived by strict religious beliefs that differed from those of modern Jewish communities in Israel. They practiced veganism, avoiding the consumption of meat, dairy, eggs, and sugar. Polygamy was permitted, and leaders decided who would marry and whether marriage annulments would be allowed. However, their claims of Jewish heritage sparked substantial debate in Israel. Israeli law offers citizenship to all Jews throughout the world, but the black Hebrew Israelites could not produce any evidence to substantiate their Jewish heritage. After much investigation, the chief rabbinate of Israel decided that the black Hebrew Israelites were not really Jewish and were not entitled to citizenship. Despite this, the black Hebrew Israelites were allowed to live, work, and receive health care in Israel. They were given loans to meet their basic needs. However, their non-citizen status did not provide the free education for their children, tax exemptions, and loans for permanent settlement that were available to Jewish immigrants. Throughout the 1970s and 1980s, the Israeli government did not take steps to deport the black Hebrew Israelites, but neither did it offer them citizenship. This led to heated discussions in the country. Despite the challenges, the black Hebrew Israelites remained steadfast in their faith and their belief in their ancestral connection to Israel. Today, most black Hebrew Israelites live in Demona, Israel. Their community, known as the Village of Peace, is a testament to their journey of faith and their determination to reclaim their heritage. Despite the ongoing debates about their status in Israel, the black Hebrew Israelites continue to hold on to their beliefs and their identity as descendants of a lost tribe of Israel. Their story is a powerful reminder of the enduring human spirit and the quest for identity and belonging. In the heart of West Africa, a kingdom was charted by British and French mapmakers in 1747. This kingdom was known as the Kingdom of Judah. Some scholars argue that the name bears no significance to the Biblical Judah, but there is considerable evidence to the contrary. The presence of Hebrews in Africa is generally traced back to the Siege of Jerusalem in 66-70 AD. It is estimated that during the period of Roman rule from Pompey to Julius, one million Hebrews fled into Africa fleeing Roman persecution and slavery. In West Africa, Judah is bordered by the Gold Coast, Ghana, to the west and Benin to the east, and is situated within modern Togo. Judah has a complex history, the result of colonization by England, France, Portugal, and the Dutch, and domestic conquest by the Kingdom of Dahomey in 1725. Judah has been designated as a town, or kingdom with multiple names in many sources. By 1771, colonial cartographers had renamed Judah the Slave Coast when it became the primary slave port in West Africa, stretching several hundred miles from the Bight of Benin to Gabon in West Central Africa. There are various tribes in Africa who are descendants of the Hebrew Israelite nation. These include the Beta Israel, Falasha in Ethiopia, Abiyudaya in Uganda, Tutsi in Rwanda, Rusape in Zimbabwe, and Lemba in South Africa. In the heart of Ethiopia, a unique community has thrived for centuries, their existence a testament to the enduring spirit of faith and identity. They are the Beta Israel, also known as Ethiopian Jews. 
The history of the Jews in Ethiopia is long and complex, with many academics unsure of exactly when and how a Jewish population came to be in Ethiopia. The Beta Israel community's history goes back millennia. According to the Beta Israel tradition, the Kingdom of Beta Israel, later called the Kingdom of Gondar, was initially established after Azana was crowned as the Emperor of Aksum in 325 AD. Azana, who was educated in his childhood by the missionary Frumentius, declared Christianity as the official religion of the Aksumite Empire after he was crowned. The inhabitants who practiced Judaism and refused to convert to Christianity began revolting. This group was referred to as Beta Israel by the Emperor. Following civil war between the Jewish population and the Christian population, the Beta Israel appear to have forged an independent state. The Beta Israel lived as a religious and ethnic minority in Ethiopia until the last decades of the 20th century. They practiced a form of ancient Judaism, observing the Sabbath, keeping kosher dietary laws, and celebrating Jewish holidays. However, their customs were distinct from mainstream Judaism, leading to debates about their status within the global Jewish community. The 1980s were a time of great hardship for Ethiopia. Famine led to over 1 million deaths, with hundreds of thousands of refugees leaving the country. Among those refugees were Beta Israel, Ethiopian Jews, who found their way on foot to Sudan. As neither Muslims nor Christians, they were persecuted in Sudanese refugee camps. In the late 20th century, the Israeli government recognized the Beta Israel as Jews under the law of return, which grants all Jews the right to immigrate to Israel. This led to two major operations, Operation Moses in 1984 and Operation Solomon in 1991, which airlifted thousands of Ethiopian Jews to Israel. Today, the Beta Israel community in Israel faces both challenges and opportunities. While they have struggled with integration and have faced discrimination, they have also seen successes in various fields. Their story is a testament to the enduring human spirit and the quest for identity and belonging. Please show your support by liking the video and leaving your feedback, this will help us to grow our community and share our vision with more people. The story of the black African Hebrews in Africa is a testament to their enduring faith and their quest for identity. Despite the challenges they faced, including persecution and slavery, they held on to their beliefs and their identity as descendants of a lost tribe of Israel. Their story is a powerful reminder of the enduring human spirit and the quest for identity and belonging. The black Hebrew Israelites, Ethiopian Jews, and African American Jews each represent a unique facet of the black Jewish experience. Their stories highlight the diversity within the Jewish diaspora and underscore the intersectionality of racial, cultural, and religious identities. Despite the challenges they face, these communities continue to affirm their Jewish identity, enriching the tapestry of black Jews with their distinct threads of tradition and belief. Their resilience and commitment to their faith serve as a testament to the enduring spirit of the Jewish people.